forecasting, reorder point and distribution resources planning. The forecasting problem. Some demand patterns show discernible trend, variation around the mean and seasonality. These are forecastable. Some industrial market demand is lumpy, may come from powerful customers. This is not forecastable. Ice cream, for example, is weather specific. In tandem with annual patterns, manufacturers pay for accurate long range weather forecasts. Where there is a large number of different product lines or stock keeping units to be controlled, mainly retail, they may be placed in similar demand pattern groups. In complex durable consumer markets, for example motor cars, some educated guessing is generally necessary. The number of potential options can create a scheduling nightmare. In order to limit this, some restrict the number of options available. Why forecast? Given the purchasing, manufacturing and distribution cycle takes a finite time, then the ability to forecast demand by stock keeping unit as accurately as is possible is a vital function. Timely real future demand information is always better than an educated guess. It is not always available. Demand is characterised by trend, saving average, changing average, variation around the average, or spread, and seasonality. So here we have two diagrams, one with linear trend increasing spread, one with linear trend seasonality. Now here, for completeness, we have the mathematics behind the Trigger Leach Adaptive Forecasting System. Key within this is alpha, the exponential smoothing constant. This algorithm was developed in the 1960s when computers weren't very powerful. But as you will see from the following, following graph, it's still quite effective. Alpha is used nowadays in many modern stock control algorithms. So here we have Trigon Leach following a horizontal demand, followed by a rising demand, followed by a descending demand, followed by a horizontal demand, and alpha switching from plus one to minus one. As you see, it follows demand perfectly horizontal and is offset, slightly lagging vertically and slightly overshooting on descending. Here is Chicken Leach attempting to forecast seasonal demand. And unfortunately, with seasonal demand, all you get is the, the forecast equals demand one time unit later. It's useless. This shows a graph of inventory and daily sales in its store together with the sales. And before the new distribution system is turned on, the inventory is grossly greater than the sales. As soon as the distribution system is turned on, the inventory tracks the sales. Interestingly, in the little inset, before 100% inventory in store, 10% <coughs> in the distribution centre. After 70% in total, 50% in store, 20% uh, in distribution centre. This is because as part of stock control, they've decided to keep some of the slower moving items centrally and only send them up to hard orders. An example of this is Maplin's the electronics store. Maplin's published a large catalogue within which are many electronic components. If you go into Maplin's store and try and order electronic components, you'll discover that they don't stock them. They will come into, into the shop three or four days later. Maplins keep most of their components centrally and only serve them, serve them, send them out to shops when they have a hard order. Now this diagram shows a reorder point. 
When demand falls through the reorder point, it triggers a replenishment batch size. Below the reorder point, there's safety stock to cover for randomness in demand. The reorder point expected demand is calculated by average demand, which is a variable, times the lead time plus n times standard deviations times average demand which is a variable times the square root of the lead time which gives the safety stock. The lead time is production plus order processing plus transportation. Now these systems can be made adaptive and the reorder point here in the safety stock is calculated depending on the average demand, depending on the lead time and de depending on num the number of standard deviations of, of protection which are, are calculated. That's a reorder point. This diagram shows a stock to service curve. The more percent of service you, you demand, the more excess safety stock you have to hold. So there's a trade off between safety stock and fulfillment level. This data comes from Tools Group. This shows a screen from Tools Group whereby they can do stock management by item in terms of safety stock versus demand. So average demand 22 units per day, average order frequency 0.64164 lines per day, demand variable to 1.91192. Target service level 94.1, the order level 10, safety stock 7.99 days. Very powerful software. This shows an adaptive reorder point which has an, ad an, an adaptive batch size, a punishment batch size and operates on a 10 value moving average. The order size is the lead time demand plus unmet demand. The base is the order point plus unmet demand. The green line is warehouse contents plus back order and the pink line on the other axis is the customer service level and it works by if warehouse contents plus back orders is less than reorder points plus met demand then order. Now this shows Agility International's mindset when it comes to stock control. Historic demand into demand planning, inventory rules into inventory planning, service levels safety stock, order of quantity and inventory terms. These are the variables. This then feeds into DRP and order review where the inputs into DR DRP are on hand inventory, expected receipts and customer orders and the outputs are stock transfers and purchase requirements. DRP then feeds into manufacturing which feeds back a lead time into DRP. Now this shows the use of the relational data keys giving visibility across the system and allowing the management of marketing channels, distribution channels and production planning to be integrated. So it goes total beer, brand of beer, size of brand, location and customer. The single database accessible by all functions means that the impact of decision making by one function and the planning of others will then cascade through the system. To allow what ifs and aid team working across functions, users can try offline changes before changing the real distribution, the real database. After distribution, marketing and production have come to an agreement that the proposed change is deliverable, the temporary, temporary database is then made the live database. Here we see the database. Total beer, beer brand, product, product location, product location customer. And next to it we see a, a screenshot for our dialog box for Harito, otherwise known as ABC analysis. Also, data can be interrogated on the base of base unit, price, cost, average seller price, weight, future price, future cost, future margin, margin and cube. So Harito ABC codes and groups. 
Here we have the DRP algorithm. It's the simplest <coughs> time phase net requirements logic. It's a time bucket divided master production schedule where N is the future time bucket for which the projected available in hand is being calculated. Projected available N minus 1 immediate previous time bucket plus planned receipts previously placed orders due now minus requirements already committed other orders it's quite simple so here is a screenshot of Agility Value Chain Solutions DRP interface here we have product one which is normally booze in Brussels and we have the planned inventory going through time to eventually in a time, time bucket it goes negative. The system will then automatically plan a reorder before that time so it comes into stock and that negative never occurs. That's the function of DRP. Here we have another DRP window. This one sourced from Mercy Links. And it shows the algorithm closing stock equals opening stock plus recommended orders minus forecast. So here we have in summary the, the inability of Trig and Leach to cope with seasonal data, the shop example showing the system being turned on and, and then, then tracking demand in terms of sales, the Maplins type centralization of stock, reorder point including adaptive reorder point and the stock to service curve. So here we have a summary for <coughs> Agility's DRP. We have the DRP dialog box showing, showing planned inventory going negative. We have the DRP algorithm. We have Agility's mindset when it comes to inventory control. We have the database showing total beer, beer brand, product, product location and product location customer. And we have the, the relational database showing total beer, brand beer, product size, location and customer.